One of the hallmark features of Enshrouded that sets it apart from the rest is its building. Many people have compared it to Valheim, but I'm gonna be honest, I only played a handful of hours of that game like three years ago, so I don't really remember. I do believe, however, that Enshrouded's building system has to be among the best we've seen, maybe ever. If you've seen my videos on this channel before, you know that I've referenced some projects that we've been working on. So today I'd like to give you a little bit of a sneak peek of exactly what we've been working on. Unfortunately, the first build I had ever referenced has been abandoned. Not because we gave up, we actually finished too fast. Oh. Because we were enjoying the build process so much, I never really got any good footage of it. I did, however, stream the whole process over on Twitch, and if you want to peek behind the curtain on future projects, you can do so there. So after we finished the tavern renovations, we ended up using that as our base moving forward until we finished the main content of the game, at which point we shifted our focus back toward building and thinking of where we might find some intriguing prospects for builds. After throwing some ideas around, we landed on our current project, a full renovation and restoration of Fort Kelvin taking it from broken and run down and VUCA inhabited into a fully restored, functional, and bustling city. Our vision is to bring this to life, complete with individual homes and workshops for each of the craftspeople, flourishing farms, battlements to defend its people, and a menacing fortress built into the mountain this town is tucked beneath. This is a Fort Kelvin you have never seen before. Or at least it will be once we're actually done with it. This is a pretty large-scale project for two pretty average builders to take on by themselves. And with no concrete plan for every square inch of this place, the process has been a bit nebulous. Regardless of that, we've made really good progress and really like where the build is so far, but there is still plenty of work to be done. Before we continue, I'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsor, Psych. We don't have sponsors around here. That would be silly. Just so... silly. Right? But seriously, I did want to thank the developers over at Keen Games for creating this game and this experience that is just so open and freeform. It really has allowed us to unleash our creativity and just see how far we can go with our ideas. And from this incredible building system, we've already seen some amazing inspiration take root and blossom into some absolutely stunning structures, showcased here on YouTube, on Twitter, and even over on the Enshrouded subreddit by some other amazing creators and members of the community. I'd love to not have to keep doing these little editor injections, but I figured since I'm talking about building and this news just came out well after I recorded this video, I'm going to link the information down below, but there is a huge building competition that was just announced by the creators of Enshrouded. It is called the Enshrouded Architects of Wonder building competition, where you can win up to, I believe, 15,000 euros. There's a big prize pool. They are partnering with a huge creator, Rubius. I will link to their tweet and all the information down below. I just figured this was probably pretty important information to include. All right, cool. Back to the video. Now, like I said, this was only going to be a sneak peek of what we're doing at Fort Kelvin, but I would like to share our previous base, the tavern, in a bit more detail with you, even if it is mostly stripped down to its bare bones now. I'm sure some of you will recognize this structure, as a lot of the members of the community found this spot as an intriguing opportunity for a flip, so to speak. And if you're not familiar with where it is, it's located on the western side of the map, just northeast of the Mark of Samoth copper mine. Directly west of the Revelwood Spire fast travel, it's pretty easy to reach once you have access to the Revelwood by strengthening your flame. With ample room inside to house all of your craftspeople as well as a couple of your friends, we immediately felt drawn to this awesome tavern slash inn that we stumbled upon on our adventures. After some easy patchwork on the exterior walls and roof, it really just came down to making some minor modifications to really make this whole structure feel purpose-built. Most of the furnishings that we had added to fill it out and really bring it to life have now been relocated over to Fort Kelvin, but this tavern was a really fun build that gave us what felt like a full-blown home base to come back to. Multiple levels, rooms, and areas, and just a general vibe that was better than what we could have thrown together ourselves. And this exact benefit is something that I've talked about multiple times, and continue to advocate for when talking about the building system in this game. Unlike games like Valheim, where there really aren't pre-existing structures around the world for you to go explore, loot, and even maybe potentially take over, Enshrouded has several full-blown villages and cities, like Fort Kelvin as well as even more standalone spaces like this tavern. And because the building system is so open-ended and allows for so much freedom, 
you really can just adopt the house if you want to. I think what Enshrouded offers in sheer unbridled freedom has a silver lining that many aren't appreciating. Now, I've always seen posts of incredible builds in Valheim and thought, I could never do that. I could never do anything that cool in that game. I just don't have the tools and the skills that I would personally need to be able to pull that off. But Enshrouded not only gives you the blank canvas and a bunch of art supplies, there's also a stack of coloring books for those of us who want to participate but just don't have the god-given gift to create from scratch. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It would mean a ton to me and it helps me out a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep creating, keep innovating, and happy gaming.